Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look at Maxpedition's Red Wallet. To come to the point right away, I'm not happy with this item. But before I tell you why, let me give you a quick rundown on the features. The Red Wallet comes with all the hard use gear features Maxpedition is famous for. The 1000 denier water and abrasion resistant lightweight ballistic nylon, double stitching on all stress points, YKK zippers, etc. Basically there are two compartments, one compartment on the front for electronic devices and a larger main compartment. Between the two compartments is a quick access area. There is a zippered pouch on the flap of the front compartment. The front compartment itself is double secured. First there is this adjustable snap closure and in addition to this the flap is secured with a velcro closure. Behind the flap is a small pocket and the actual front compartment is especially suited for electronic devices because of the soft material on the inside. I'm not sure if this is some kind of felt, but this material will definitely prevent your phone, PDA, MP3 player or any other electronic gear from scratching. The compartment is not fully closed on all sides. As you can see there are two compression straps on the left and on the right side. Now for the main compartment. The main compartment is secured with a heavy duty YKK zipper. This compartment has a divider in the middle. Finally let's take a look at the attachment system on the back. This is a 3 inch belt loop with a large velcro area. You may wonder why there is another velcro area here, but this way the belt loop can be adjusted to different widths of belts. And Maxpedition wouldn't be Maxpedition if they hadn't put another pocket here, which is almost like a hidden pocket when you carry the red wallet on your belt. Now you know what you get for your money, but how are you going to use the red wallet? When I prepare a review, the first thing I do is I usually check out other YouTube videos on the particular piece of gear I want to review. There is a handful of videos on the Red Wallet. The funny thing though about the Red Wallet is that nobody actually seems to use it as a wallet. Almost everybody uses the front compartment for a phone or a PDA and that's definitely the use Maxpedition had intended. My only critique here is that it might be a little cumbersome to get to the phone quick enough because you have to open two closures. But maybe that's just me. The main compartment gets utilized for all kinds of purposes. Some people even put shotgun shells in here and use the red wallet as an ammo pouch. But in most cases this compartment is used as some kind of EDC organizer. I'm usually not one to nitpick on words, but in my opinion this is not a wallet. A wallet in the narrower sense of the word is something I want for carrying items like cash, credit cards, cash cards, loyalty cards, my ID card, my driver's license etc. For example let's take credit cards or other similar cards. Well you could put them almost in any pocket or compartment. The only problem is you would have to stack them on top of each other, which makes it very difficult to grab the right card when you need it. That's why I prefer individual slot pockets, like the ones here in the Maxpedition Spartan wallet. What about money? Again, you could put some dollar or euro bills almost anywhere. Maybe the zippered pouch here is too small and maybe it's not advisable to put the bills in here where they cannot be secured. But putting your paper money in the main compartment is a complete waste of space in my opinion, unless you usually carry large amounts of money on you.
By the way, this one here is for you, Katabanga. I know these are no longer in circulation, but I thought it would please you to see an old Canadian $1 bill. There is another problem with this main compartment. The divider doesn't go down all the way to the bottom. There is a gap at the bottom. And I've tried this once. I put my bills on the one side and I put my coins on the other side. After some time, the coins tend to float around between the two compartments. But what's even worse, there is also a gap here. And what happens is, when you open the wallet, the chance is high that some smaller coins drop out. Now, what about putting some EDC items in here? Although a lot of people seem to use the red wallet exactly for this purpose, I don't like the idea of putting several things that are made of metal in one pocket. They will scratch up each other. Sooner or later you will get scratches on your gear anyway, but keeping your items like this will definitely accelerate the wearing process. In my opinion, there are better options for organizing EDC items. I just want to mention two of them. There is the very popular EDC pocket organizer and there is the famous Monkey Combat Admin pouch. Yes, they are significantly larger, but I prefer them over a solution like this one here. Again, I don't think that wallet is the proper name for this bag. It's way too bulky to carry it in the back pocket of your jeans, for example. Maybe Maxpedition should call this TMPBB, Tactical Multipurpose Belt Bag. Okay guys, this was a long review on a rather simple item. Maybe one day I will find a proper use for the red wallet. If you happen to own one of these, please comment and let me know what you use it for. Perhaps you can even do a video response. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.